So let me ask you this question now that we turn back to the Eagles. So last year, the Eagles traded up two spots and took a behemoth of a Georgia Bulldog in Jordan Davis. Tonight, they sat there at 10 and moved up one spot to take a mammoth Georgia Bulldog who dropped to them in Jalen Carter, ninth off of the, the board and consensus maybe amongst you guys, That's best player fun. in the draft if not for other things. Is it possible Nolan Smith just dropped <laughs> unbelievable, to the man. Philadelphia Eagles who have N'Kobe Dean from last year's Georgia Bulldog National Championship team and then they'll take Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith from this year's Georgia Bulldog and, and, National Championship team? Is, the, is that literally what's playing out and, in this and, draft? And you thought he possibly could I go gave him 10. to him at 10. At I thought 10. they would take Nolan Smith at 10. Never in my wildest dreams I think he would be here with their second first round pick. So what you're telling me is what they need to do is they need to bring Kirby up because you know on practice in Georgia Kirby oh. is on the mic on the PA for the entire practice just giving the team the business so just get hey Philly bring Kirby smart up give him the microphone during practice because it's basically the 2021 Georgia Bulldogs just unleashed well, I want to find out if they don't go with Nolan Smith I need Ian I'm giving Ian homework and let, let's what figure out happened? what the heck is going on here because he should be gone by now and I just Again, I talked about Dalton Kincaid in the league somehow allowing him to get to Josh Allen. Are we really just going to gift wrap Nolan Smith with the 30th pick? Are you kidding me? It, any chance they go with the Bama safety, Brian Branch? I like Brian Branch. This is a he's pass not Nolan rusher. Smith. This is right. a nickel yeah, versus not a Nolan pass Smith. rusher. That's a and you have no, and you have no injury. Remember, Nicobe, that's what I'm like. Am I remember missing something? Is, there, is he hurt? Remember, Nicobe Dean. We had the shoulder thing yeah. that kicked in. Well, he Nolan ended up had, dropping Nolan to the third pack. round. He had to pick, but have we heard that that's a disqualified? I mean, yeah, that's. that's he looked healthy at the him. combine when I right. watched him run a four three nine. He looked pretty healthy there. <laughs> I think they're gonna get. Nolan Smith here at 30 after getting Jalen Carter that's, at that's nine. Wild. I'm sorry, that's and wild. And Jordan Davis at 13 last year, moving up from 15 and getting to Kobe Dean in the third round. I mean, Cowboy fans have got last year. Beside themselves. And this is a team that kept keeping Jalen Hurts happy and then bringing back, you know, A.J. Brown and. And, so, and Devontae Smith and, and Jason Kelsey's back and my comp my get comp out of here for Nolan Smith. Is They're looking how happy they are. That's yep. Hassan Reddick. That's my comp. Yeah. Is it is there is they there know any, exactly what to do with Nolan Smith. They already have Nolan Smith. They've got Hassan is Reddick. It, is there any way Philadelphia and Georgia scrimmage in the spring? <laughs> I mean, is that what we're gonna have going on? Oh man. I'll tell you. Well, Howie Roseman's talking to somebody. And there's Jeff Lorry. I can't tell if they've added to the coaching staff or if they've got security, but that is a packed room right there. Yeah, there is. They are suited and booted. Are, are, those, are those Eagles issued suits in the back there? Like everybody in the same suit? I guess so. When you go to the Super Bowl, the room gets a little bit larger. Yeah, it does. My goodness. My thing is, look at everybody standing up, and then Jeffrey sitting down with just a big smile on his face right there. Yeah. If, That's a if, happy owner. If, hey, when you own the team and everyone else is standing, you sit. If you if, got it. All right, Sirianni's pick, getting guys. on the phone now. This, now he just passed it off. If this is the pick, it feels so much like what Baltimore used to do, where you would sit there and the draft would happen, and then you'd be like, oh, of course. You know, like it was, guys would just fall to Baltimore. Listen, I mean, you're like, how does that happen? If this year? does happen, this is their version of Muhammad Ali, Ropa Dope, and George Foreman. Just hanging out, everybody do their thing, and at the end of it, they stand victorious with a big time player that we all thought could have gone in the top 10. We'll see how it plays out. Yep. Well, the pick is in, and they just put the Chiefs on the clock here. And that's what the uh, the cheer was about. I'm just, I'm like literally dumbfounded that they're going to end up with, if they end up with Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. But you're dumbfounded two ways, because if they don't take Nolan Smith, then I'm, re then I'm then double, really, I'm then double, double dumbfounded. dumbfounded. Double dumbfounded. You go Dumbledore, dumbfounded. Yes. Good. So night. we're going to get the penultimate pick of oh, tonight's well, they're, draft. They're making, they're making us work way. for this one, too. Speaking of, yes, like trying to go after Mahomes, they're doing the same thing, right? I mean, well, I mean, they were right there, they, guys. They, I mean, and look, they they won't say it. I don't think they say it publicly, but it, you know, it was a little slippery field. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 o
Oh, you're going there. Yeah. Uh, you're going there. Just saying. This is Kansas City, sir. Well, I is, know. They you, rolled out the red carpet you for you. You already told them I called the Charger games. You're trying to get me hurt on That's the way back true. to the car. Well, I mean, it's your resume. I mean, it's... CD, we're in a different car, right? Yeah, I'm not okay. worried about that. Okay. Our car is fine. Okay, good. Look, DJ, they turned the walls green again. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah. I like the multicolored pens that you just push the color down. Check no, that's out, what we got here. Check out the fountain. How'd they do? Did you get green on the fountain? You can make a strong we do. argument. We Eagles have the best roster in football. And if they come away with if they come away with Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith, they will have had the best first round of anybody in this draft. That that like Guys, they brought. Remember, we thought, okay, maybe Slay wasn't well, going to come back. I'm maybe sure that Bradbury wasn't. They the, got them all back. The Texans might push back too about getting Stroud and Will Anderson back to Pretty back. Good but combo. it's still, yeah, but they're they're not doing that to a great roster. That is correct. They didn't make the Super Bowl last year. They're picked tech second overall. Joining me on stage now are some very special guests, oh, content creators who you know Mama from Kelsey. YouTube, Dude Perfect, and Jason. And Travis's mom, Donna Kelsey. Go ahead, Donna. He's playing in a game on TV at the same time. Hey, right. okay, Travis is there, Jason's there. How in the world do you decide which game that you're going to watch? Uh, man, I don't know. That's really tough. I don't know. It's just tough to choose. <laughs> we had a feeling that would be the case, so we cooked up something a little bit special for you to help you break the tie. Here's the deal. We've got a custom coin with Travis and the Chiefs on one side and Jason and the Eagles on the other. If your boys are playing at the same time, all you have to do is flip it and it takes the decision out of your hands. Should all we right. try it? Let's okay. try it. with NFL Sunday ticket on YouTube and YouTube TV. You don't have to make that decision. You can watch both boys at the same time. Great. You ready All to right. do this? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see who's going to be joining Jason in the okay. Philadelphia Eagles. With the 30th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Nolan Smith. Wow. Linebacker, Georgia. I mean. Go Burr! Just put hedges up in the Lincoln Financial. They should just put hedges up and... Well, you, see what, you see what the Bulldogs did the last two years? The, 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 the draft just keeps falling to them. Nolan Smith just went 30th overall after Jalen Carter went ninth. I worked for him. Maybe I should know this, but are we sure this isn't Howie's birthday? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. This is, it's hard to find guys that are this explosive. I just, I looked at my notes. It just says juice, exclamation point everywhere. The comp is Hassan Reddick, who is now his teammate with the Philadelphia Eagles. Elite, elite, elite quickness, change of direction, and speed. He's undersized, but he plays much bigger than that. He can win right away with quickness. And then once he clears the tackle, like Hassan Reddick, he's able to turn the corner and really, really close. He plays absolutely relentless. You see it each and every time he was out there. If he had been healthy, guys, and played a full season, there's no chance we're talking about him at this point in time in the draft. Watch him chase down Bryce Young and just suck up that space so quickly. Jalen Carter, and now he brings his teammate Nolan Smith on the same flight to Philly. You've got to be kidding. Me. By the way, who was the one that was helping Jalen Carter during that pro day when he was struggling over in the corner trying to get him up as a leader? It was Nolan Smith. This was the vocal leader of that defense, the alpha, the Will Anderson of that defense. And now you pair him with all those teammates. Unbelievable. There you go. That's why I mean you should just bring the hedges to Philadelphia. There you go. They should, like, I mean... Have a new mascot, the bu like, get a bulldog, right? Just get a dog. No question. Well, they're getting, get a, they're getting a brand new bulldog to start this season, University of Georgia. They are. Might as well get a second right. puppy and send him to Philly. I'd, I'd be shocked if they didn't get, if, if Nolan Smith wasn't one of their 10 best players on their draft board, I would be very surprised. So there you go. Just a fourth Georgia bulldog from the national championship defense going to Philadelphia right there.